Hi everyone, I'm just going to come out a little, there we go. I have got another new book to show you today. This is called Cats in Fairy Tale Colouring Book um, by Ori Kawamura. And lovely Claire bought this for me and then when she received her copy, she wasn't very keen on it. So she wasn't sure that I would be either. But I'm going to have a look through. And we're going to have a see what it's like. Now the size is 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres, which is a standard um, like Kirby, Johanna Basford, um, Millie Marotta book size. Okay, and it, the cover is really shiny. Um, there you go. Look, there's my window. <laughs> so the cover is shiny, and we have the cats on the front and the back. Okay. So let's have a little look inside. So we have this some um, this um, French flap, and um, oh, they're riding. It's a sort of pretty scene where they're on a whale. It's a different one on the back. We'll look at that when we come back through, and. Um, And it's got this lovely yellow. I like this colour end paper. Really nice. I think that was tucked in there. I'm not sure. And here is our title page. And what she said was she didn't like their faces. But I'm okay with their faces. Or their eyes or something. Some of them are a bit starey, I suppose. But once you colour them in... No. Anyway, let's have a little look. So this first, this is a double page actually. Can I fit you in? Just about. I haven't put my lamp on because it tends to glare a bit um, on white paper. And um, the sun's gone in, so I don't need it on. Oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> so the three cats holding up the fish, that's, you know. But look, this one's eating it. <laughs> that's interesting. So you have more fish here. This one's in a ring and these are on a raft and it says man Pukukats. cats. I don't know what that means, that word. I've got no idea. No idea. Now the paper feels reasonably toothy. Um, so it would be quite, I think it would suit um, colouring pencils. Um, we have three cats. Now, they're on a raft. We have little animals and oh, we have the sort of rats underground. All sorts of animals. Um, I'm not very keen on the snake. Woo! But you know me and snakes. And so I'm thinking, if this is a um, fairy tale, what is this one? I don't know this one. But this one, it's, look, it's Puss in Boots, I'm thinking. Maybe catching fish as an alligator. Now this one... Got various fish, seafood market. They're cutting up the fish, making sushi. I think this is Puss in Boots again, because it's got the same hat and the feather. Now we're under the sea. This is the from the front cover. Look, we're on the whale, and swinging from the flowers. Now this is interesting. Let's look at this drawing style. This is quite thick and dark. The whale and the flower, but the cats and the fish are. A paler, different style of drawing, or a different, a less hard, a thick pen. I suppose it's a thinner pen. Interesting. Now they're riding on a dinosaur. You see, and in hot air balloons. Now we have pandas. Are we? I trying to work out. Like, got this here, which looks to me like a. Uh, like you're at a hairdresser's and you've got having your hair dried but we've got milk here and there's a dog paying for a drink of milk and these are numbered lockers and he's standing on weighing scales hmm I'm really unsure what's going on there <laughs> now this one it is having a shampoo look and there's little showers, they're having a wash. It's, maybe it's a sort of health spa. 
Yes, that's what it is. Oh, circus tells me. So we've got different animals doing different circus acts. Now, bakery, something bakery for Matabi bus stop bakery. So he's got his. Sorry, my doorbell has not stopped ringing today. That's the fourth time someone's come to the door. However, it's just my plumber bringing me a plug for my sink. Very exciting. <laughs> I was looking at this bakery. We've got all these little um, baked goods and different shapes and you know bagels and different things. Now, oh, it's an Easter theme. Look, we've got an Easter egg, and it says "Happy Easter, everyone!" and lots of something for you. I'd say love. It should say love, shouldn't it? All these Easter eggs and lovely florals, little bunnies. And this page, again, looks really different with regards to the thickness of the line, which is interesting. But we have two birds and pretty florals. So here we're back to all our animal friends. We've got our rats and a ball of wool, bears, a frog, flamingo, more bears digging. There's another ball of wool. I cannot work. They're planting things. Maybe it's just their gardening twine. Now we're in a tree doing various things. So we're playing, reading, avoiding the snake, <laughs> eating, spying. <laughs> oh, balloons. Again, we have a mixture of lighter artwork and darker artwork. This is a very strange imaginative picture where we're riding on fish with balloons and clouds. <laughs> now we're sitting on a moon reading a colour book. It says 365 cat art on it, cat series. And it's got a pencil because it's colouring. <laughs> Now we're in the Three Bears house, are we, with our porridge? No, because we're making pancakes and honey and pigs. Hmm, I cannot, because I was thinking it might be different fairy tales, but maybe they are just ones I don't know. I don't know. Kangaroos. Oh, there's a little thing in the page. got an ISBN number. Oh, it just fascinates me because I've never seen anything like that before. It's a happy birthday. Today's here. Got all the birthday hats, all the balloons and and here a big celebration cake and feast is a, is a turkey and some macarons. Now we have a glove. And there's a person here, look, who's lost it. And all the animals having a look. It's snowing. But this one. Oh, they're in the glove still. Look, this is the glove. And they're peeping out. It's a very big glove. <laughs> and they're uh, all keeping warm inside. Now we have a basket of cats. Lovely, um, are they grapes or just berries? It doesn't matter really. Oh they are because there's other fruits that so we've got apple and orange there. Look at these. How cute things. And so now we're sort of inside what looks like a house or a tree with rooms sort of thing. So we've got having tea, watching TV, knitting, it's a sort of office, bedroom, laundry room, having a bath. It's fun. So, oh, we're decorating a Christmas tree. It's Merry Christmas. We've got all the standing on the presents to decorate the tree. I wouldn't recommend that. Got a nice warm fire. It's hard for you to see there, look. The stocking's hanging up at the top. Now, here we have uh, Father Christmas Bear, reindeer, and the cats in the chimney. All the buildings behind. Oh, what's this?
Oh, interesting. If you could, if only I could read it, I would find that. It's probably really boring. It's only interesting because I can't read it. <laughs> so here we have what looks like quite a jolly celebration, I think. We've got a lot of pretty foliage here and animals in with sort of little um, neckerchiefs and things. And then here they're playing out uh, different instruments. But this guy is a reindeer. It's, it doesn't look Christmassy though, with all the florals. Now it got a big pile of pancakes. And this one, the elephant, is this, oh, it is a double page spread. So the, the cooking, he's got an egg on his pancake. That's interesting. <laughs> he's got his syrup. Oh, it's skating. Lovely sort of wintry scene on a sledge. And here we're in the cafe, a sort of apres ski, I'm assuming. So we've got noodles and dumplings, juice, coffee, fish and soup, it says on here, and pepper. But we're eating our new ramen and different things. Yeah, dumplings there, look. Now this is a rather surreal image, isn't it? So we've got all the planets, we've got a train in the sky, we've got a spaceship, which makes more sense, an astronaut, but all these cats coming up with their balloons or their... And these are dogs. Very different. Now here we have... They're in a library, perhaps. There's all books behind them. Lots of different creatures there. But this one is um, Alice in Wonderland. So we've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the white rabbit. Oh, I'm not sure who you are. Yeah, there was a creature that looked like that. I don't know. They're playing um, their um, croquet with the hedgehogs and flamingos. She must be the Queen of Hearts. I can't remember who he is or I don't know who he is. But uh, these are really obviously from Alice through the looking glass though. And they've got all the roses, of course. Now, this is where at the Mad Hatter's tea party. Um, so we've got the white rabbit, and uh, he's got the hat. Um, she might be Alice, actually, in Zorn Mouse. Got the teapot and everything, and the mushrooms. And now here she is. Um, oh, yes, because she's Alice, look. Sort of falling through all the cards. This is towards the end, isn't it? Where she sort of wakes up and everything goes a bit mad. As if it wasn't mad already in the story. So now we're not in the story. We've got a mouse in a bowl. We've got some booze. I don't know what they do. Mice are everywhere. I guess the cats want to eat them. The mice don't look very scared, do they? Now we have a mercat. We're under the sea. Fish, lots of fish. Octopus and in a sort of submarine. Now, are we back in Alice? We are, aren't we? Because this is Alice when she was giant and her head, she was too big to fit in the house because she ate the eat me thing or drink me. She's in, stuck in the drink me bottle there. That's the white rabbit again. I can't remember what the, there was this strange creature. Now, we have otter stoats or weasels. Never can tell which is which. Um, having some ice cream and penguins in a drink. So a sort of desert island look. Oh. And here we have a little red riding hood, I would say. Because she's got a little hood and her basket. This is Granny's cottage, that's what I'm guessing. Here's the uh, wolf. Now, oh, there's Hansel and Gretel. Because look, there's Mummy and Daddy. This is Hansel and Gretel. They're dropping the breadcrumbs, and this must this is the witch's cottage with all the um all the candies. Gingerbread house. Mm. So now I'm looking, I don't know. This is a double page again. I think most of them seem to be, I'm not sure. It's got frog and bear. 
Is this the giant turnip? Yes, it is. They're all trying to pull the turnip out of the ground. I don't know if you remember the story. Yeah, lovely elephant. No, what's happening? Oh, this cat looks a bit scary, which I have to say. The bats. Is this the Cheshire cat? I'm wondering, because she's very grinny. I don't know, but she looks like she's trying to catch the mice with the cheese. Now, they're all playing musical instruments, aren't they? And we have a horse here. Now I'm wondering if she's being rescued by the prince. Maybe this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, Snow White. She's Snow White. Look at her dress. It does look, look at that. Looks a bit Snow White-like. Now, we're spying, watering a rose. I've got all these thing, images in the stars. Hmm. No, I can't tell if that's just... It's hard, isn't it? Are they just random? Are some of them a bit random, or are they actual stories that I've just never heard of? See, look, at these two cats. It's a ladybird, a butterfly. I mean, could this be Thumbelina? I don't know. Because she's on a lily, gets stuck on a lily pad, doesn't she? Now, this is definitely um, Snow White. And maybe that, is that the Frog Prince? Could be the Frog Prince. But yes, look at the, she's making the poison apple. And then I'm um, giving it to Snow White. So we're still in Snow White here. Ah, oh. oh, we're at the end. And we've got another um, very beautifully soft um, yellow end paper. I've got Puss in Boots with the fish there. Oops. That paper is only semi-glued onto there. It's just glued in a little strip there. Oh, there they are on the dinosaur. Hmm. I have. Done, I would be fascinated to try and find out what all these stories are that the book is based around because I just don't know all of them or whether they aren't all based on stories. Because remember, it was called Cats in Fairy Tale Colouring Book, as if all of them are stories. But I just do not know all of them. So that or. If I, or I haven't managed to identify them. Like, you know, this one. I don't know. They're trying to catch a snake. And this one where they're on the whale, for example. I just don't know what they are. See, that's Puss in Boots. Whether Puss in Boots is a few of them. You know. But there's no Puss in Boots in this one, so I don't really know. But maybe they're tales from around the world, and I don't know them. But there we go. There is a little cat book um, by Ori Kawamura. This one also came from Etsy, so I will share the link in the description so you can have a little look um, and see more about it and see, see if you want to get it. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you have a super day and happy colouring.